I'm going to attempt to make a phone call. I hope this works. Okay. Hello, uh, this is the Fiery Lakes of the Underworld. How can I direct your call? Uh, yeah, hi. Can I please speak to David Bowie? Uh, no names. I can only put you through to an MOD. An NMOD? Month of death. Oh, um, January 2016. Okay, but uh, putting you through, please hold. <laughs> Hello, this is Alan Rickman, renowned actor. <laughs> Sadly deceased to January 2016. Oh, hi, Alan Rickman. Um, actually, I was after... Don't tell me, I'm keen to guess. <laughs> Glenn Fry from the Eagles. No. Jimmy Bain, bass player from heavy metal bands Rainbow and Dio. No. He was very good. <laughs> but actually, I was hoping to talk to... David Bloody Bowie, I know. Of course you were. Couldn't wait a couple of days to give me some clear air in memoriam, could you, David? No, the same bloody week. I'm really sorry. I promise I'll watch all the Harry Potter movies tomorrow, like in a row. I did lots more than just Potter, you know? I don't suppose you've at all put aside even one day in January for who the fuck was Alan Rickman Festival? Well, I mean, you were in Eyes Wide Shut, so... That was Alan Cumming. Fuck, <laughs> sir. Very well, patching you through the ziggy stuff. <laughs> Hello, space boy David Bowie here. Yeah. Oh my god! Hi, David Bowie. It's Emily Zoe Baker here. I'm so glad I got through to you. I was talking to Alan Rickman, and to be honest, he was a bit. Uh, yeah, don't worry about him. I think he enjoys it, to be honest. So, Emily Zoe Baker, how are you? Well, David Bowie, I'm not doing terribly well. It's been a shit few years since you died. I think I'm having trouble keeping it together. Oh dear, yes. Well, I have heard that it's not been amazing. Look, I don't think you would even cope with the wall-to-wall arse-fest that the world has become. <laughs> I feel like we're living in Cormac McCarthy's inhale before the story begins. <laughs> oh, that's good. Just a sec, I'm writing that down. <laughs> it's like our fates are sealed and there's no point fighting. You have this great way of taking what you did seriously, but never taking yourself too seriously, which is a thing I try to live by. But right now, it's like I'm not living at all. I'm running in circles with sirens blaring and the noise is deafening. Yes, yes, I see. It's, it's all white noise. I mean, is it possible that you were the fabric holding the universe together and that your death may have caused the reckoning? The reckoning? <laughs> I don't know. What do you reckon? <laughs> Lol, Bowie. <laughs> Sorry, love, but no, no, it wasn't me. I wasn't holding anything much together, believe me. You know, I fell to Earth, I sold the world. I'm not a wandering star, I'm an Earthling like you. You know, love, you're not alone. I know. But I feel paralysed with dread. My distrust of humanity has infected my love of nature, which is the only thing keeping me alive. I can't make anything anymore. You know how thinking about other people's death is supposed to make you want to live, to make your mortality show itself and jumpstart your motivation, to shake space like a tree and have stars land at your feet like apples. I don't want to shake space or even look at the sky. I want to stay home and I want to watch Sabrina the Teenage Witch in the bath. <laughs> well, well, that's fine too. I, I used to love reading Archie comics. Inspiration comes from everywhere. It's just one foot after the other. Look, I'll tell you what I told Iggy Pop in 76. Get up off the floor and put the kettle on. <laughs> but what, what's that sound in the background? Have you got me on speaker? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Something did happen on the day you died, David Bowie. Time stopped, then took a cigarette and put it in my mouth. So all I could taste was sick. My finger, then another finger, stained yellow like my hands were trying to turn inside out to show me what was going on. And no amount of needling black stars into my skin could make me move again. Everything became so still and sticky with grief. My stomach beat with pain like I'd swallowed that bluebird. I numbed with myself with whatever I could find. That's not on you, David Bowie. 
It's just that it happened on the day you died. Yes, I understand. And I know we're not supposed to look for clues in the lyrics, but Black Star is my key to this moment. Lazarus, particularly. I searched through that song like I'm trying to find a rainbow in a lake of diamonds. The meaning is everywhere and, and nowhere. The lyrics are so juicy with death, your death, hidden in plain sight. And the internet offered me a million interpretations the way the sea after an earthquake can offer a million rivers in any direction. Well, yes, all, all the answers, everything you're looking for, it's in the songs. Squawking like a pink monkey bird. I mean, come on, can't put it any more clearly than that. <laughs> David Bowie! <laughs> sorry, sorry, I know, I know. But we have to laugh, even about our own lyrics. Go and ask me about one. Okay, so when you performed Starman on Top of the Pops in 72, who were you pointing at when you had to find someone? <laughs> well, Emily Zoe Baker. I was obviously pointing at you, you, you. <laughs> Very good. I knew that. But your last album is so loaded. According to the Bible, Lazarus can't die. He lives in the in-between without eyes. And maybe that's what I've been doing, Lazarusing. Bumping my boat between life and death with a blindfold on. Perhaps I answered my own question then. Sorry, what was the question? Is there God, and if so, should we be doing things differently? Right, well, I don't know about God, but we should definitely try to do things differently, just as a rule. That's a very you thing to say. But look, yes, before Black Star, I knew I was going to die. So do you. We all know we're going to die. That's the majesty of living. I guess I just needed to hear that. Look at another thing. What's that? You've got five years, don't fuck this up. <laughs> five years? That's all we've got! <laughs> Touché, but also yes. <laughs> Look, I'm very sorry, but uh, I've got to stay in chat. It's getting a bit late, and Lemmy from Motorhead's having me around for tea tonight. <laughs> And he's very strict about punctuality. Okay, can I ask you one, one more quick question? All right, love, go on. Is Peter Dutton a demon? <laughs> oh, absolutely. He's on a shift right now, as it happens. I fucking knew it. Thanks, David Bowie. Thank you for everything. You've really helped. Ain't that just like me? Bye, Emily Zoe Baker. Bye, David Bowie. <laughs>